Hi guys, how are we all? Thanks for coming back to my channel again. This is gonna be a bit of a, bit of a different video. I had so many plans of how I was gonna do this video. Um, but basically, I'm gonna do a video of kind of like what I kind of like take with me if I'm gonna be traveling with quite a few of my children. So I'm gonna be taking five of them for a few days. We're gonna head over to Poole. Um, it's quite a long distance journey for us. It's normally something that we wouldn't like do like it's not like an everyday kind of like trip it's a good good like four or five hours away for us um, i'm going to stop over a few nights so we have a seven seater car and obviously in that car we need all the seats up we need to like pack all the things pete's getting a bit grumpy now oh, oh, oh no pete just pop his tummy in there you go there you go you want to be on mommy's video you want to be a mummy's video? Yeah. So yeah, so today I'm in the middle of like packing and stuff and I was going to like do a well I'll sit down and I'll go through all the things that I'm going to be taking with me because I'm always getting asked on Instagram all the time like how do you cope, how do you manage, how do you manage to put it all in your car, what type of car do you have and I thought do you know what, rather than me just sitting here like really boring, just kind of like boring you all going I'm going to take this and this is this and this is that, why don't I just like show you kind of like as I'm using it so you can kind of like see in a better view, a better idea of how it works um, so it's going to be stuff like that I'll take for the kids, things that will do and yeah if you want to watch it, watch it, but um, yeah, I just thought it'd be something interesting to film and let you see like the little bits and pieces that we put in. Some of the items that will be in this video have been gifted to us, um, but they are things that we, we were going to buy and obviously some of the other stuff is just generally my own stuff as well that I do take whenever we're travelling. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, it's going to be just all random little bits, so it's not going to be all filmed on the same day and yeah, just hope you enjoy it and stay tuned and keep watching. So this is one of the things that I'm going to take with me um, when we travel. This is something that we would do normally pack something up because I find that service stations are just ridiculously priced and the kids get hungry, we're going for a real long journey so we need some just basic snacks in between stopping off um, for like little toilet trips etc so I've just basically packed this it didn't cost much at all we've got some like sugary snacks but we've also got some healthy things too like we've got some hummus dips we've got some flapjack we've got some greys we've got some nuts water energy drinks some chewing gum some I don't know like juiced fruit shoot type of drinks cereal bars some chocolate Always remember to carry a bag to put the rubbish in um, because you no one wants the car full of rubbish in back. But this is just one of my little mum hacks that I like to do. We've got some biscuits in case me and Eddie get a cuppa on the way. And we do stop off and get like a bit of a takeout coffee. But this just saves one hell of a lot of money from stopping off at services and paying like two quid for like a bag of marshmallows or like little bags of Harry Bulls. It's just everything's so pricey. Like you pay like nearly two pounds for an energy drink and these like the Aldi ones which are about 30p, something like that. Um, so this is just one of my hacks that I do. Fill up a basket, fill it up full of snacks, raisins, you name it, whatever you think your kids are going to be eating. And then this will last us a few days. This will obviously get eaten just on the way down there. This is packed probably for like the entire journey there and back um, and a little few we can take some bits out in between so i just thought i'd show you that as one of my first travel mummy hacks as to what we would be packing when we go away hi guys welcome to very windy pool we've been here now for a good few hours um it's gorgeous weather but my god it is seriously windy um i'm going to show you my next mum hack of traveling with lots of kids and needing that extra little bit of space. So this next genius, genius invention is called Bubble Bum. I absolutely love that name. Like it's, I mean, I'll, I mean, who who made that name? Because that is absolutely is. But this is Bubble Bum, and it is a travel booster seat that you can fold up into this tiny little bag. And the word bubble in it is because you blow it up. So it's an inflatable booster seat 
that is designed for approximately 4 to 11 years old and that is from, I'll read it on here, 15 to 36 kilograms so you've got a really good span of weight there obviously it says on there that you, the two need to be like in sync with each other so ideally obviously um, the weight of the child needs to correspond because sometimes you can have a four year old who is a lot less in weight than that so you have to make sure that you've checked that out make sure that you know that your child is going to be safe to use this seat so I'm going to show you quickly um, fastened in the car it's an amazing invention um, and it saves so much like space in your car because like for us we're having lots of children we can always have people around for tea and obviously I don't want to fork out lots and lots of expensive extra booster seats or it saves their friends parents having to drop seats off our house etc I can just have this rolled up in the little bag in the back of the car and it's good to go it's inflated in seconds and then it's literally just good to go and we can just pop it into the car and it fits all cars it's a portable booster seat um, grandparents can borrow it and use it it's just fab it's just so handy to have because you just never know when you're going to need a spare booster seat for a child so i'm going to show you now quickly it um the just little features of it and then i'm also going to show you rita sitting on it so bubble bum this is inflated it has hooks here that you use to secure the safety belt in the car and also this here that you connect on to be able to put the like the shoulder strap this part of the belt so you've got a nice guide of it and you know it's nice and in 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 perfect way it needs to be um, in line and straight with the rest of the car seat also it has a little valve here that you just twizzle blow into inflate it up twist it the opposite way and that'll just flatten it back down again and then you have your little bag that you can just pop it in and we have some little hooks in the back of the car and they can just hang up in the back of the car and you're good to go we have three of these they come in lots of different colors rita's obviously chosen a pink one haven't you rita yes. she has a pink one they're also a really great size as well because as you can see in my car that is vinnie's seat which is there and i have a four before so i've got this quite a big space here but still when you get like normal standard booster seats like they can be quite big and quite squashed over and that can be a, that can be a bit of a danger feature to begin with because you don't want them all squashed together so this just gives you a little bit more room as well for older children sitting on them gives a little bit more space for them and I know that there's more space between the belts so I know that they've all got the belts on properly in the car as well so we'll get this fastened in and we'll show you Rita in it so Rita's now in her bubble bum car seat we've got her shoulder um, guide strap on there so we know that that's definitely coming right over her shoulder where it should be she's fastened in nice and securely here and then fastened in securely round here and then into the safety belt loop here she's nice and tight in aren't you feel secure there Rita yeah, yeah? nice and secure how does it feel to sit on really comfy and you had a really comfy journey didn't you on it yes. So she feels like it's a lot more comfier than a regular car seat yeah, booster that you have because that's yeah. a bit hard and a bit plastic yeah. in it. Um, it's really easy to fasten in and out car. Rita is eight so she fits on it lovely. It's not too small for your bottom is it? No. <laughs> your bottom's got plenty of room to sit on it. Yeah. And we've also got one for Cole and Nathan or if you have any friends that come over we've got one that they can use too so that's just a quick another mum hack to the bubble bum seat and that's how it fastens into the car and Rita gives it how many out of five? How many out of five? I'll give it five. It's a good seat. So another one of my mummy travelling little tips, hacks, you name it, what you want to call it, is this little travel bassinet that we've got from Coody. Now I'd seen these, seen a lot of parents using them and I just thought well obviously we can't bring the big pram because we'd normally use like the carry cart if we could just go somewhere where we weren't taking as many kids with us so we'd have space for the big pram. We had no room to bring two travel cots. Um, plus the room itself doesn't have enough room for two travel cots. We've got a travel cot over there which is for Vinny to sleep in. So obviously the room was just too small to have two travel cots. So we've got this pop-up bassinet. Now I've done a little video previously to the coming showing you how this goes up really really quickly, how it folds into a really small bag. So I'm going to insert that video and show you Pete using it. But we used this last night and it's absolutely fab. I've got his sensor pad underneath here 
underneath there. It comes with a lovely little mattress. This is just a little muslin that I've just popped over the top. It has a mosquito net, which all this you'll see in the video. And I've even just popped his little My Hummy. Again, this is another one of my fab ideas of bringing with you is he has this at home so always think of the things that your baby's using at home that you use when you also come away as well because obviously they thrive on routine yeah so like i was saying with babies obviously routine is everything so at home pete would always have like a muslin in his cot home he would also always have his my hummy as well so we brought that just keep things as much as you can to how you would have it at home because you do not want your baby being like unsettled, not sleeping, when you're on holiday as well, like you're here to have a good time, so you want it to be as enjoyable as possible. So yeah, I've just brought them with me. This, like I said, I can't make it, make, make it high enough, can't get my words out today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna answer that video so you can see this in action and see how it was. But this is basically in our room. Um, and I've just popped it down here, like I said, his wires going up there to where his monitor goes down to it. Also brought him, again, another thing that we've got home, I'm going to pop this onto bed and show you, is his little sleeping bag. Br try and bring things that you know you're going to definitely need and use. So we brought his little sleeping bag with him. Um, again, some LSAT we'd use at home or use a swaddle, but I just thought a sleeping bag might be cozier. Yeah, we've been away in a room, sometimes you can't predict your temperature the same as you can at home. So I brought that with him and his cot. Um, and yeah, just try and keep things as simple as you can. Right, so these are a few items that I use for travel, I use for when we went away on holiday, I would use for easy usage, the multi-usable, um, and it saves taking more than one of the same item with you. So, for instance, our car seat, we opted for the Duna car seat. I'd always had a Maxi Cozy car seat, and I loved my Maxi Cozy car seat, but the only thing with that was is, it was quite heavy to carry and we now have a toddler and also a baby that needs carrying a car seat. So for me to do a school run, 
and have a toddler by the hand and carry in a car seat or have to take the big pram frame and then put the attachments on and then clip the car seat on just to go and basically get the kids in and out of the playground. It's such an effort, such an ordeal when this is kind of like all in one. So basically this little piece of kit is your car seat but it also has wheels built into it. So when you're just wanting to do that quick nip, like you need to just nip into a shop and do a return. So you're only gonna be in five, 10 minutes and you don't need to take a big, massive stroller frame with you. And it also means that you're hands free as well for the toddler that you've got with you because the baby's secure in this. It's, they're off the floor. They're in like, almost like a mini push chair kind of thing. But bear in mind, it's still a car seat. So it's not a, to use all the time stroller, it's a quick fix to dashing in and out of places. So I'm gonna show you quickly how it goes up and down because it really is genius of how it works. So this is, it has a car seat and it's really good as well because it has a five point harness built into it also. Really, really well padded. So I'll turn it to the side. So when it's in car seat mode, it looks like that. You've got your sun canopy that goes over. Um, to make it into a push chair, so we don't like this, and we've just brought it out of the car. You have a little button at the back here, and all you do is press it, and the wheels pop straight out. And then you turn it round, and you can see, I'll turn around and show you. You've got two grey catches here. You push them down, and you press your button, which is grey here, and pull up, and you're ready to go. It has a brake on it too, so you've got a brake. So you can leave it so it's not going to roll off anywhere and then you've got one that releases your brake. It's got swivel wheels at front and it's super easy to put down too. So you just basically push your handle in, take your handle over, ready for carrying mode. And I'll turn it around to the back and show you. And then you just press your grey button and it goes straight down. Put your canopy over if you want to and you're ready to carry it back into the car again and it, it's, you've got an option of you can have the base the ice fix base or it just goes in as you would do a normal car seat where you take your loop round it goes through your little thingy comes back round into your safety belt through your two catches on front and that is my little nifty easy out and about option to quick and easy not having to take the big massive donkey frame with me just to attach your car seat just to go do a school run the next thing I want to show you is my Cover Me, which is an ingenious little design. So it basically looks like a super easy piece of fabric, but this little bit of fabric is genius. It's kind of like, I've used it from day one. So as soon as we brought Peter home from the hospital, we have used it for so many things. So this, when I take it out, because of this little pouch, it comes in a few different designs. It's like a stretchy jersey fabric. It has the Cover Me logo on the front. We've got the black and white stripe. I'll show you it like that. So basically this can be used for a breastfeeding cover. So you basically put this over your head and you put it over like that. Have your baby underneath or if you're bottle feeding as well and it's sunny, you can have your baby under and it shelters the baby from the sun. It also goes on a car seat. So I'll just show you on our car seat. So I'll pop it back up into push chair mode and I'll show you. I use it when I'm out and about as a nice little either for keeping the wind out or I use it also for keeping it shady from the sun. So you basically just stretch it over, over your handle, round the front. It fits every single car seat and that's it. Keeping the wind out from the side, keeps the sun glare out. So the baby's got all the ventilation here. It's not stopping any air getting into the baby. It's not like where they're telling you not to put covers over. It's nice, loads of ventilation. You can see the baby and that's my other option of it. There's another usage you can use, which obviously is a blanket. We usually use it a lot with a blanket. So I'd have Pete in there and he has it as a blanket. You'll see a lot of my Instagram photos we use it as a nice little, nice lightweight jersey blanket and it matches car seat perfectly. The other thing that you can use it for is to go on a high chair. So I'll just show you now on our high chair. I've not actually used it before on a high chair, but you can use it on a high chair. And you can also use it on a trolley seat as well. So rather than just putting your baby into the trolley, you just put it over like, like, kind of basically like what you would do on the high chair. I'll show you in a minute. 
and then it stops you from just sitting in the trolley seat where other people are sat in and you don't know there's germs, bugs, whatever. It's just that extra bit of peace of mind and it keeps it clean and a bit more comfy as well from sitting. So I'll show you now on the high chair and it'll give you a gist of what it's like on a trolley as well. So to go on a high chair, it's really simple and this is basically just so you've got the child all covered up and you know that they're going to try and, well hopefully try and save some of the outfit. Pull it right over like that, pop your child in, obviously with the straps on there and this covers over the knee, once they're in that would then be down over the knee and you'd have the meal on here so if you're worried about the hygiene etc this covers over the tray so you haven't got any whites ever to cover over you can pop this over the tray that goes in there like that and you know that they've got the biscuit or something on here that they're not eating anything that's got germs on it etc and then you just whip it off shove it back into the little bag chuck it back in your bag and wash it when you get home and it's machine washable um i've had a few little marks dropped on mine where Vinny's touched it with like something red and it's always come out, it washes up really, I mean this has washed so many times so it does wash up really really well and as I said, same concept for a supermarket trolley you just obviously don't have this tray part and it, this, the front part would drop down and again, just covers it, makes it more hygienic for when you're out and about so yeah, I'll add this, a link to this and I'll add a link to my doona as well because I highly recommend both of them and this was so useful when we were on holiday and the doing was amazingly useful when we were out and about. So another item that I've got which is a great thing for out and about and for travelling and for having everything to hand is this lovely little caddy slash bag. I bought it in TK Maxx, it's made by Storksack so I will try and link it from Storksack but I bought mine really cheap, it was $7.99 at TK Maxx. They did have lots of them but I'll work, talk you, work you, talk you through it and show you just why I use it and what I put in it. So I needed something for having two children, two and under, that were out and about with juice bottles, milk powder, small snacks, still both using bibs, etc. Is I just need something that I could store it all in. I had a bottle bag, but it just wasn't enough space and I ended up with spare bottles in the car, some in the changing bag, and I just wanted it all together in one big bag. So this was something that I came across and it's just been an absolute game changer. So I'll talk you through it and show you the areas of it. So there's two pockets at the front. I keep a, a bib for Pete and a bib for Vinny. We have another pocket that I keep some snacks in. That'll be filled with a few more of the snacks. I have a pocket here that I chuck in cutlery. Um, which, you know, basically need. And there might be a, a dummy in there maybe. Or a teaver. In this pocket I keep some antibacterial high chair wipes because they're always handy to have and then in the main compartment this is where it all goes on I have some milk so I have some milk for Vinny because he's still got dairy allergy so he has to have the dairy free, free formula I'm trying to get my words that's a lot of words to get out I have peat so I don't mix them up so they have two completely different containers for taking milk out and about I've just had these recently sent, so we're using these at the minute. This is a clean canteen, stainless steel inside drinks bottle for Vinny. And also they do a bottle too. So this is the bottle that I would take out for his milk. And this also means I don't get my bottles mixed up with Pete's. We've always used Tommy Tippy and Vinny loved Tommy Tippy, but I didn't want his bottles getting mixed up, so these are Pete's bottles, which are all Tommy Tippy, and Vinny has this clean canteen bottle, which is absolutely fab. And then we also have a spare bottle in here as well for Rita, because she's going out with us today, so she's just got her water bottle in there. So as you can see, you can fit absolutely loads in. He has a zip across the top, and I just pop that in the car, because it's got two little handles, so easy to do, and then when I get out of the car, just pop the whole thing underneath the push chair and it's just easy. We get to a restaurant or we're eating or whatever, just lift that one bag out and it's got everything at hand that I need. It's got the knife and forks, it's got the wipes, it's got the bibs, it's got all the bottles, the snacks, you name it. It's all in one bag. I don't need to start going in the changing bag, getting extra bags out from under the pram. It's just one easy, simple thing just to pull out.